there were a number of people, you know, so if you think of, of the 27-year-old Swedish-born Ingrid Bergman, who, you know, for, 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 for eternity, we will always, of course, think of Casablanca with Ingrid Bergman, but there were a number of other uh, actresses who were considered, Michelle Morgan, among others. Yeah, he tested joined, her. She'd been brought in and tested. Yeah. There was talk of Hedy Lamarr. Hedy was under very... Uh, yeah very expensive contract at, 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 at MGM would have, would have cost a fortune. And Louis Bimera, I think, was very uh, reluctant to, to, to let, let her go. No one like none of the other moguls like doing deals with Jack Warner because Jack Warner always came out on the, on the rich end of the deal. So they were, even Selznick afterwards, uh, you know, he lent out Bergman and then later on Curtiz wanted somebody from Selznick. And he says, you know, you never get the right end of a deal with Jack. And, so and, they didn't and the like only that. way that they were able finally to to to, to get uh, uh, Bergman is that they sent the Epstein twins to go and meet with 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 Selznick and to con and to con and, to, and, to, and they were known for the gift of the gift of gab and yep. and 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 there were the two of them exactly so they could tag team a bit and they they met with him at the Carlisle Hotel in New York mm -hmm. um, and they started talking and talking <laughs> and 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 Selznick doesn't even look up from his soup and and then finally they say. And we're going to do it a lot like Algiers. There's going to be you know, lots of smoke and schmaltz and, and gowns and everything. At that moment, suddenly he looks up. Yeah. And, and he and, nodded you know, his head. Yeah, yeah, ab yeah. absolutely. And this yeah. was a film. So, so Algiers with Hedy Lamar and Charles Boyer, Boyer had done very, yeah. very well at the box office. And it had that exoticism. And this is what prompted Hal Wallace also to change the name from the original Everybody Comes to Rick's, which was the three-act unproduced right. play, the three-act stage play. Mm -hmm. um, and so once he heard that it's going to be something like, like Algiers, that, 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 that his property, in other mm -hmm. words, Ingrid yeah. Bergman, would be able to wear beautiful gowns uh, and that there would be all these swirls mm -hmm. of smoke that, you know, Curtis yeah. would do, work his magic on, then he knew, okay, yeah. we can do this. Yeah, in fact, uh, Julie Epstein's interview said that Selznick was like slurping his soup, <laughs> and then he said... And, and it's going to be a lot of shit like Algiers. <laughs> that was, that's what made Selznick look up. You know, I wasn't sure whether I could say that, but yes, that's exactly what he said. <laughs>